In this video, I'll explain how to schedule automatic reports in Google Analytics 4. They, these are sent to your email, and uh, I'll explain a little bit of the limitations uh, GA4 has with this. And I'll introduce you to another alternative you can use to get even better results, especially if you need it to look a little bit prettier than just the GA4 default reports. Hello, data people. I'm Robert from Clicks.ly, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So I'm here in my GA4, and I'm inside reports here in Engage engagement and also landing page report. This is the report itself. What I've done here, I've created a filter where the landing page needs to contain slash welcome. You can see it here. So this is the report. I've added also a, a secondary dimension here, which is source medium. And this is the data I'm looking at. Let's say I'm interested in this. I want to get this weekly to my email. In GA4, this is possible. All you have to do is come here, share this report. And you can see you can send it, send the email immediately now to yourself or to anybody or schedule the email. So if you schedule it, here's the options. You can name the report, give it a description, and then you can add the re recipient here. The only limitation here is that you can only send this to people that are in your GA4. So they have an account in your GA4. Otherwise, you cannot send it. Uh, so this is kind of annoying part of this. When it comes to scheduling details, I think it has everything you need. You can choose the report format here, PDF, CSV. Uh, you can choose the dates, frequency. For example, I was talking about the week and then it, uh, duration is 12 months. And now I could start, let's say next Monday. Every Monday, it just send, sends this out. And then I have a report for the previous week, for example. That's all and good. You could save from here and then it starts sending it out. Now, once you receive this, this report, you see stuff like this. You have this uh, kind of a generic one, view the report and then you get it as a PDF. I already sent, I sent this a uh, couple times for myself, so I'm gonna open the latest one from here, and this is the exactly same report as you just saw in Google Analytics 4. So it just kinda takes a screenshot of, of that, that report and then basically just sends it. There's nothing wrong with this. It, it is quite simple. You cannot style it. It just comes with one report per page, and if you have multiple uh, reports that you wanna send, they're going to come in separate PDFs, not optimal. Let's say this way. It's possible, but it's it could be better. By the way, if you're struggling with GA4 and it just doesn't make any sense, but you need it uh, for your work, then stop wasting your time and just join my five day email course where I'll go through the most critical reports, metrics and things you need to know to use GA4 for e-commerce. Uh, you can join it for free by clicking on the first link in the description. And if you want to make it better, then use Google Looker Studio, which is a free software that you can then just connect to your GA4. And then you see your data in this one because you can build dashboards directly here. So here you can see that this is a dashboard I've built uh, and you can see that I have this e-commerce data here. So I have some graphs here, some information about revenue. Then I have acquisition stuff here. So if I go to into acquisition report, the cool thing is you can just click here and it will filter by email in this case. So channel group is email and all the reports below will also be filtered by email. So you can see the source medium is always email and all the campaigns are also filtered by email. There are other things you can do here. I have here other filters and obviously you can select the dates. There are multiple reports in this one. And if you're interested in purchasing this Looker Studio template, then you can grab it. Uh, it'll be first link in the video description and then you can connect this to your GA4 and it will just work out of the box. And there's a lot of things you can do here. So I've included the most useful reports all in one Looker Studio dashboard. So you have here things like uh, related product, search terms, uh, so this is internal search. You have stuff or promo codes, user journey, and then also the checkout. So it really covers pretty much everything you can see in GA4, but now it's in a nicer format and it's easier to filter things directly here because you can always just click on these values in the table. So what you can do in Looker Studio is you can share this. So if you click on this little arrow here, you can schedule delivery and this is where this is much more power powerful than GA4. First of all, you can send it to anybody. You don't need to be part of GA4. Uh, you can just send it and you can customize the subject line and obviously the description for the email if you, if you want something. Then you can also choose the pages you want to include in the report. So let's say I want to just the top ones. I don't want to see everything. I just want to see the most important ones. Then from here, I would select the start time and date. And then I can say, okay, repeat it every, not Wednesday. I want to custom and then I want to have it every week. 
on Mondays. And let's say it's 8 a.m. and it starts next Monday, which is 21st. So like this, it would send it out every week at 8 a.m. On top of that, what you can do here is you can filter your report. So your, I have here the reports dashboard. I can select the dates from here. Let's say I'll just want to look at the last seven days, apply, and then acquisition. I could select the date range, but I can also just directly select the uh, default channel group, which in this case, let's say I'm interested in email. And now I'm going to get the whole report and it's already filtered for email. Really useful if I'm interested in my email campaigns. Same thing for landing page and the other reports. You can adjust it depending on what, uh, what filters you already have on the page. This is really useful. And once you set it up, you don't need to go through this every time, right? So then you have that scheduled. So then you would save it and you can send it uh, or schedule it from there. Once you schedule and once it sends it to you, this is how you see it. So this is the email I get from Looker Studio. You can see you can view this report in, in Looker Studio. So this is the report. First, it has all the images of the uh, pages from the report. You can see it's all here. And then conveniently, it just sums up everything in a PDF. It's the same uh, pages here. Now you'll notice this report actually has all my uh, pages uh, just because I sent it out earlier. So I didn't exclude these. So really useful and it looks much better because you can style these pages. You can add color, you can add shadows, you can add borderlines, you can, you know, change colors so that it looks a bit nicer, especially if you have stakeholders or your clients that you need to send this. It's nicer that it looks like more than the, just a screenshot from GA4 that you actually put some effort into it although it's automatic. Now you know how to schedule reports in GA4, but just looking at data without knowing how to turn them into insights will just waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next where I'll teach my six-step system to turn data into insights.